Hey guys, I managed to um, to get a, a socket with a short extension down here. It's a 3 8 bolt. And now what I'm gonna try to do is remove this by hand. Actually it would help if I was wearing gloves, but Let's see if I can reconnect the... There's not a lot of room if you try to do it from above, but... I just wanted to get this started. Let me put the, the camera down for a sec. I, I cannot work like this, but I think you get the idea. All right, I got it out of there. So next, let's see if I can separate these. Um, There's one piece of the the harness. Oh, okay, let's put that one down there. So, so this is part of that harness. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove. The uh, alternator wires and there's one down here for the coolant temperature. So let me get some more tools and uh, remove some of this stuff. Okay, so I managed to disconnect the alternator wiring. So next I have to figure this out. This continues into the nose of the car. So uh, I guess it's part of the headlamps um, wiring system. So for the time being, at least I have this disconnected. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do so many things at the same time. And I know that my um, camera work leaves a lot to be desired because it's almost impossible to, um, to film anything down here. But anyway, I'm going to um, continue taking a few things apart. Again, I'm sorry. I know you're probably getting dizzy just trying to watch this thing, but um, it is very difficult to uh, to film. So. 
Maybe I'll just go ahead and try to remove as much as I can and then just show you the end product. But um, anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so I removed the air cleaner and the uh, shield for the distributor. What I'm gonna do next is remove the, the cap. So I can gain a little more space. I think I'm gonna need to do that to, uh, to get to some of the wires behind the distributor. So and uh, there's four of the, the J hooks. So probably what is gonna be easier is just to disconnect some of the some of the wires. But anyway, let me get that started and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I disconnected all the wires, spark plug wires. And before I forget, I have to unhook the um, ignition, the tack and the battery wires. Again, I'm gonna need both hands. So let me take care of that. So, I unplug those and now we can I'll set this thing aside. Okay. So yeah, that gives me a little more room to disconnect this ground wire here, the uh, uh, windshield wiper motor. Get all the get all, get, the, get all of those um, disconnected. I think I better put on some gloves just to it's kind of dirty working you know in an engine bay. So back in a few. Okay, so. One, that's the ground. Down here. I think those have to, yeah, that's from inside the, uh, the motor itself, so. Okay, so making a little progress. So next, move these over here. I know that eventually I'm gonna have to crawl on, under the car, but that's that's okay. I still have to set up the quick jack for that. Okay, so I'm gonna do a recap. It is very hard to uh, film all of this by yourself. And anyway, there's not a lot of room under there. So I disconnected the wires to the alternator. This one continues all the way to the front of the car. I also unhooked the big plug that connects to the firewall side of the fuse box. So all that is unplugged. As you can see, I removed the, uh, the air cleaner. 
distributor cap just to have a little more room because you have to unplug the windshield wiper motor. There's also a ground for it. And of course the distributor cap has the ignition tack all of these, these three wires here. So those are out of there. I also clipped the wire that I had used uh, when I went from hot air choke to electric. I decided to leave this um, connector here since I managed to find an original one. And the wire, I just clipped it. What I did is I, I spliced it into the ignition wire, which is fine. And that was working just fine. So next I'm gonna keep tracing this and this goes down into the, uh, by the, by the block and it connects to the starter. Alrighty, so I have it up in the air with the quick jacks. These things are great. And by the way, I was having a little bit of an issue plugging the the hoses here for whatever reason. There was a lot of like almost like fluid lock or something like that. So I did a little uh, research online. And I'm not going to take credit for the credit for this, but there's a guy who posted a video. I'll try to provide a link where he was having the same issue. He actually had to replace one of the uh, fittings because he blew um, an O-ring out of there by forcing it. So what he said is just plug it in and then hold the down uh, button and then just press them in and it was amazing. I mean, they just went right in. So I wanted to uh, point that out again. I'm not trying to take credit for that uh, idea. It was someone else's, but uh, that saved me a big headache. So anyway, getting ready to um, crawl under the, the car and uh, continue with this um, project of unhooking the um, the engine harness so wish me luck well this is gonna be impossible for me to uh, film while working under here but anyway I wanted to show you where the um, see some of the, the wires and the connections of course are back here and uh, I see a few other fusible links here and Anyway, yeah, it's going to be a little bit tight under here, but that's okay. So anyway, I hope this give, gives you an idea on what you gotta do. I'm gonna also clip some of these cable ties and keep on going. All right, so I disconnected the starter wires. Let's all those here. And this ground wire as well. 
So, next, I gotta see if I can fish these out of here on the top. So, and I also reinstalled the, the, the bolt here, the ground bolt and the couple knots here. So, anyway, that's it so far. Well, this plug here, I don't know why it fucked me so hard, but uh, finally I got it unplugged. So that's good. I don't even know what that thing is. Is that ground of some sort? I don't know. But anyway. You can see how tired this tired looking this thing is. So anyway. Get that much out of there. Now to trace this one somewhere so I'm gonna have to lift the car again and I'll see what the deal is Thank God for this, um, for this lift because otherwise it would have been, I guess you can still do it with the, uh, with the rhino ramps, which I have there, but sometimes you have to, um, um, lower the car and, and whatnot, so. Okay, so I'll be back in a few. Well, I managed to get that, that part of the harness out from under the car. I know it looks horrible, but it's just dirty and I wonder that anything worked really, but the things will get this filthy after 40 plus years. So anyway, I was really hoping that I didn't have to, I wouldn't have to uh, remove the, um, what's I'm gonna call it, the, um, the headlights um, harness, but I gotta keep on going, so. Oh, and this other wire, I disconnected this thing. Look at this, I mean, I don't know if this, unraveling here and uh, I'm gonna have to I don't know if this wire comes with the uh, with a new harness but uh, I'll have to uh, investigate that a little bit alrighty so that's my update
Yeah, this was ready to be replaced. I had added this little installation here to keep it, you know, protected somewhat from the heat, but Alrighty, so the fun continues. So I managed to fish the um, harness out between the uh, brake booster and the uh, windshield washer bottle, which by the way has a little pump, so you have to unplug that one. It's all the way under the thing, but uh, I managed. So anyway, I'm kind of inspecting this thing and uh, not much to, ins to inspect really, but uh, this one, I guess, is two halves. Need both hands probably to, to do this. Let me, let me try to split it and uh, I'll be back in a second. But anyway, it's pretty dirty and cruddy. So this, this actually splits into two, which is great. Now I have to figure, figure out which which what goes where and all that good stuff. So I guess this half, it's kind of weird though, because this one has the alternator. So I guess this one goes all the way to the, to the front of the, to the nose of the, yeah, it's connected there. Interesting. Alrighty. At least this one. Is out. So yeah, as unpleasant as it may be. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start unplugging and doing all the uh, Headlamp, uh, headlight, um, harness uh, connections, so I can uh, replace that one as well. So there you have it. When you look at it, there's not much to it. For, uh, I think that new one costs like two hundred and plus dollars. But I guess they have to procure all the all the uh, the right uh, terminals, connectors, this thing here. So you look at this. It's a mess. Alrighty, that's it for now.